Hello, I'm Johnny and welcome back to my channel. So, this is a jolly as you can see. I think um, I'm going to try something different. Uh, me and my friend Gabby are having a collaboration uh, to make an art doll uh, inspired by steampunk. And I drew the design and everything. And I've been watching these videos lately about um, transforming a doll. Doing the face makeup and uh, putting hair on and... Just transforming the doll totally, so I'm really interested in that, so I think I'll give it a whirl. So, um, I'm going to, if you can hear us, I'm going to try and speed this up a bit. If I can't, probably won't show the video, but don't be alarmed if you can hear a squeaky voice, because, of course, when you speed it up, my voice will be quicker than normal. So, I'm going to try and cut the hair off. Let's see... You've got to get it as close to the root as possible. It seems a shame, but I've been collecting these dollies now. These, um, I think this one's a cave, camp cave or some doll. And my favourite ones are those um, Monster High ones. But very difficult to get the male ones. And the hair is usually, well, well played by children. And one of them, oh, it had chewing gum stuck in it. So, do I need some bigger scissors for this? Yeah, just cut along here. I wouldn't have been able to do this a week or so ago. Because I had a gammy hand, but as you can see, I can, I'm can. i over the moon. I can operate scissors again. The majority of them, um, I mean, this is my very first attempt, but the majority of my videos, when I start transforming these dolls, I will speed it up a bit. Come on, get off. The reason why I got this doll is I just love its feet. You rarely ever see um, big feet like this on a doll. A uh, girl doll anyway, and normally the feet are like in a position as if they were stood in a high heel. Well, she's got them, uh, probably because she's a cave woman. They don't have high heels in those days, but it's refreshing to see that. Right. Ah, I tell you what, that was a struggle. Oh, have you seen my finger? It's marked it. Um, it always looks so easy when I watch other people doing it, but it was a right struggle. What I'm going to do now is stick a head in this boiling water to make it more pliable, the head, and so I don't break the neck when I come to taking the head off. It's a right old skinny neck, this one, so... Fingers crossed. Ah. So I took the head off off camera because it was a right old struggle. I don't know if it's because my hand's still a bit gammy or whether it's normally like this. But when you watch the people doing it, it looks really easy. I mean, it's different from the uh, Monster High School necks. Monster High scale, no, Monster High doll necks. Um, and this is quite strange, this one. Uh, but yes, it was a bit of a struggle. I mean, I left it in the boiling water for about two minutes. Maybe I should have left it a bit longer. So, yes. Here's some other doll. I've got a, I might do a video later of all the uh, dolls I've been collecting. But these are 
Can you see? These are Monster High dolls. I've already cut the hair off because this was just covered in chewing gum and this, it looked like it had been ragged by a dog or something. So I just couldn't bear to have that how uh, the hair laying around in my house. I had to lop it all off. And then there was this one. I think this is really fun. I've never seen this doll before. Two heads. It's uh, I think it's a mermaid or something. Uh, might make it into uh, Double-headed Medusa, I don't know. But I mean, I've got all these big ideas, but I don't even know if I'll be able to pull it off. But I'm willing to give it a good go. For this one, I think I'll do like a little pixie. What I've seen uh, some people doing is um, they put the head in, I think it's ac yeah, acetone, for two hours to shrink it down. Because it is uh, like cutesy, isn't it? Uh, the head's too big for the body, but with this being my first time, I'm going to leave it big. The cutesy thing's fine. So what I'm going to do now is put it back in the boiling water, take it out, and... Ugh, I don't know how I'm going to get in there. You're supposed to put some tweezers in... Oh, these will go in. In here, and pull all the glue out. So the roots come out, but I don't think I've cut the hair down short enough, so that might be another struggle. But it's all an experience. Wow. So I'm finding this extremely difficult. What I've had to do to the poor doll is cut her head open. But, um... Uh, um I'll just have to glue this in place when I've finished. Uh, it'll all be hidden by the hair anyway, but... Um, I don't think I left it long enough in the boiling water to get these plugs out, as you can see. So I'll have to put it into boiling water again. But um, I just could not get any. This is just too narrow. When I watch other people doing it, they just uh, work it around like this and pull it out. And it looks so easy. But if you're having struggles like I am, I'd just suggest cutting the head open. Um, and then I assume it'll just glue into place. But I mean, it's a bit of a bummer if you're going to have a bald head. So I'll have to just keep on doing the research and there must be some easier way to do it. Oh, well, so this should be a video how not to prepare a doll's head for transformation. What a job it was. But you know what? It was oddly satisfying. So where I think I was going wrong, I wasn't leaving it in the head long enough for the glue inside to melt. Also, use some decent tweezers because these are not very good. Um, I did find these ones. Um, I think I'll have to order some of the tweezers that you pluck your eyebrows with. Um... Because these are a bit smooth. What I was doing is, after putting it in the boiling water, I was like moving it around like this. And that was getting the hairs out. Yes, I think I've got them all out now. But I mean, look at the mess I've made with the doll's head. Because I've had to cut it. I just couldn't... Um, I'll have to see if you can get some skinnier tweezers that I can put through its head and... I don't well it is it is my first time so um I'm uh yes so hopefully I'll be able to glue this head in place um and I mean the hair will go over the top so you won't see the damage that I've done but now I'm thinking with the head open and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna transform her into a, a pixie or something like that, Mother Nature. So I'm thinking with the head open, maybe I could have some like tree branches uh, spurting out of the top of her head or a weird alien creature. I uh, don't know. So I think I'll have to get back to the drawing board with that. Um, but what I'm gonna do now is, um, I've bought this. Uh, a one litre bottle of acetone, I'll just show you. And that's what you use to remove the um, manufacturer's paint off the face and the head. 
but I'm sure I've seen in one video you've not to use it on the body because I've noticed on here there's some um, serial numbers on here and I think you you can't use that on the body because it oh, it's like acid and it's a different plastic to the head so I'm going to have to do some more research uh, because some of the dolls have got marks on them which I'd like to remove so Yes, well, I'm still not on top form. It's just took me an age to get the lid off the acetone bottle. Um, and I've made a right mess. I'm soaking wet. So I've just poured some of the acetone in here. Now, what I've seen what people are doing, they're getting these um, round, I think, the facial wipes. But you haven't got any of them um, to get this off. So I've just got a sponge here and I've ripped a bit off. So I'm going to see if that works. I mean, I was going to use a cotton bud, but I don't know. Um, right, let's give this a shot. I mean, I'm really wanting to get into this uh, hobby, but it's been such a, a struggle, but... Oh, God, that stinks. But I mean, no pain, no gain. Oh, well, that's coming off really good. Oh, God, I should have worn my uh, gas mask. Really stinks. Oh, well, it's coming off easy enough. I'm, I'm going to go and get my mask. Oh, God. Well, I'm just not going to speak. Um, I've uh, had to put my face mask on because that smell oh, extreme. So, not a very good idea to use the sponge. Um, it's just soaked everywhere. So I've had to go in with this, um, what do you call it, a cotton board. Well, I nearly passed out with that mask on. I just couldn't talk and breathe at the same time. Oh, I just don't like wearing that gas mask, but it's necessary, I guess. So, uh, the doll's face is all clean and the head. Um, that just looks terrible, uh, the damage I've done to her. Um, I'll have to find uh, an easier way because... I don't fancy cutting all these dolls' heads up and to get all the hair off. I wonder if I could use a, a razor or something to shave all the hair off. Oh, I think I'll have to keep on there doing more research. Um, the cleanup of the doll is um, the boring bit. Um, the really challenging bit for me. Um, but I think I'll enjoy painting the face, designing the outfits and doing the hair. So, oh look, I'm right out of frame, are I? Yeah, so this video is called How Not to Prepare a Doll's Head for Transformation. So you can learn by my mistakes. Oh. It's a cute little head, that. Anyway, um, so this will be part one. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Johnny signing out. See you, bye.